what are you doing, Owen? Oh, hi. Um, I'm writing an in, in, uh, email to Oliver Albotter for tomorrow's interview. Who is Oliver Albotter? He is the COO of uh, Micro Mobility System, and I'm doing an interview with him tomorrow. What is Micro Mobility System? It's a, uh, a company that creates very exciting products. And one of my personal favorites is the Microlino, which is a design of the old classic car that has the door open from the front. And they have, uh, they have recently made it electric and looks brand new. Okay. Let's see the email. Look at me, Owen. You need. During this interview, Oliver Albotter was in Zurich, Switzerland, which is 11 a.m., while me, Owen's toy garage, in Sydney, Australia, which is 7 p.m. We connect using Zoom meeting, and that's how we do the online interview. Enjoy! Okay, so shall we start? Sure. Um, shall we start with the questions you asked on the email or? Yeah. Do you want to ask them first or should I just start or what's the? Yeah, uh, I could, I, I'm gonna ask them first. Okay, sure. Okay, so first question. Uh, how did you get this idea on creating the Microlino? Sure. So. Um, the idea behind the Microlino was that if you look at how many people are actually in a car, uh, it's really on average there is only uh, one person sitting. So most of the time, uh, car is, uh, cars are empty. And um, furthermore, cars also don't drive very far, so they only drive about um, 30 kilometers uh, to 35 kilometers per day. And that's why we thought, well, let's create a vehicle that is actually designed for this, you know, that uh, only has space for two people and um, has a range of uh, up to 200 kilometers. So about, I think that's about 150 miles. And uh, that's just ideal for 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 daily for, for daily um, mobility. That's that's actually the idea of the of the Microlino. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, next question. How is it like to become COO in a exciting company that makes cool products? So actually, uh, it was I had maybe a little bit unusual um, career in a way because uh, my father he invented the first um, kick scooter, the razor scooter, micro scooter, uh, as you as you call them, or kickboard. He invented this in uh, 1999, so that was when I was uh, five years old. So. Uh, yeah, more than more, a bit more than twenty years ago, and um, so it was always about you know fun and also sustainable uh, mobility and cool vehicles and products. And so basically, I was um, already during my university. I was working in uh, the company, and we just had this idea of um, of creating the Microlino. And basically, we just went ahead with it. I was doing it with my brother. And therefore, basically, you know, uh, uh, we were the first ones working in the in the company on this on this project, and uh, that's why it was a little bit unusual, maybe, than compared to others. Uh, but it's been a really interesting, uh, interesting journey so far. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Um, okay, uh, next question is: uh, What is the biggest challenges in electric mobility? So I guess the biggest challenges in electric mobility, first of all, is that people are, um, they have what we call range anxiety. So basically that is if you, um, people think they run out of battery and cannot uh, get home anymore. Yeah. Uh, because it to charge a car than to uh, put people in a car. Uh, for example, we try to solve this problem by having a small car 
that you go regularly, so you won't use this car to go on vacation and drive many hundred miles. The other thing is that you can charge it on a normal house plug, so you don't need a special car charging station. And basically the idea is really that you charge it overnight so that uh, in the next morning it's always 100% charged. Yeah, this is the main challenge in electric mobility. Okay. Uh, are you deciding to make any further projects? Sure. I mean, we have, um, we have a lot of projects in the mobility segment. So we start from kick scooters for kids up to the Microlino, which is more for adults. We have now, uh, actually just yesterday, we launched a new electric kick scooter, uh, which is called the Micro Explorer, which is um, a product we've been working on for, for two years. And it's really designed to, to be very long lasting and to last for many, many um, thousands of miles. And, uh, you know, to be used in, if you're in a city and if you, if you don't have a lot of space, you can use um, the other thing, the other project we are working on, which is not out yet, is the Microletta. It's the three-wheeled electric uh, motorbike, basically. Yeah. Uh, this is a project uh, we first showed in March of this year, so in uh, three months ago, so in March of 2020. And uh, so far, the interest is very big from from people. It was for, from our side. It was first of all just a, a concept, so we just wanted to show, hey, this is another way of you know, another type of vehicle that could be electric, that is uh, sustainable. And so this is also a project we've been working on and I think this will come out. We don't have a very clear date yet, but I think it's going to be in uh, 2022. Okay. Um, how do you think the micro mobility system can change the way people travel? So I think our goal is, you know, um, many people now, you know, ride in big heavy cars every day that have very strong motors and, you know, they oftentimes they ride alone. And it's very, it, it's, you know, it's, it's just not uh, very good for, for, the, for the environment because, for example, let's take me, I am uh, 80 kilograms heavy, so if I ride in a normal car, I use a car that weighs uh, 10 or 15 times as much as me uh, to move me for some kilometers. And basically, the car, you know, it's, it's for the car, it, it needs more energy to move the car than to move me. So that's kind of what, 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 is, what is a little bit off. And that's why what we want to do is we want to try to, you know, give people a possibility to use lighter vehicles. Uh, a normal car, but still have the same kind of comfort uh, to to uh, to go to work or wherever they want to go. Okay, uh, great. So this is the comparison to Tesla. So Tesla is the most popular electric car company in the world. How do you see the Micro Lino company compared to Tesla? So <laughs> Tesla is obviously uh, a lot bigger than than us and. Um, I think, you know, what Tesla is doing is they are really more in the high segment when it comes to performance, when it comes to power, speed and so on. So they are really, you know, the people that have the fastest cars and our approach is a little bit different. We want to have uh, the most efficient cars, so the ones that use the least uh, amount of energy to move you. So it's a very different approach, but of course Tesla is uh, is one of our role models because um, you know they are they are very successful and they are one of the only uh, new companies in this in this field that really could change uh, the industry and the change we we move. So I mean I think it's a little bit difficult to compare us to Tesla because the cars are much faster, much more expensive. But still, I think we, at the end, we have the same goal, and the goal is to uh, make uh, mobility more sustainable and better for the for the environment. And uh, I think in that we have the same goal. Okay. Um, so in the advertisement on TV, I saw the Micro Lino advertisement on TV, and the guy uses the remote to change colors of the car. Is that true? <laughs> no, that was uh, it, 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 we 
we would do it if we uh, if we were able to do it, but it was more of a of a joke. But uh, so it was a, a, a video effect that we did in the in the in the video program. But uh, of course, we will have different colors. But uh, maybe some some years in the future, we will have the possibility to uh, change the colors with the key. Okay. Um. So about the Microlino, uh, the car is fully electric. How to charge the Microlino? So basically, you charge it, and that's the idea of the car. You can charge it on a normal house plug, meaning that if you um, don't want to have a special charging station at home, you can just uh, plug it wherever where you can where you plug your um, smartphone. You can you can plug your um, you can plug your microlino and charge it uh, in just uh, four hours. Okay. If it's already fully charged, how long can it last driving? So we, at the moment, we have two battery options: one for 125 kilometers, so that's I guess uh, 100 miles or 90 miles, <laughs> and one for for 200 kilometers, which is um, about 150, 180 miles. Okay. So, I'm 11 years old. Uh, with a car like that, do you think they would let me drive? <laughs> okay, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that you ask this question. I would ask exactly the same if I was your age. Um, unfortunately, I need to tell you that probably uh, you will not be allowed to drive yeah. this car uh, yet. What I can tell you is that so the Macarino at the moment uh, it it can ride up to 90 kilometers per hour. So that's uh, 60 miles an hour. Um, so that's obviously a bit too fast for, for an 11 year old. But in Europe, we are probably making a version that is only going for 45 uh, kilometers an hour, so 30 miles per hour. Um, and with this version, you can drive when you're 14. So it's like the very small, small motorbikes that you, yeah. that you can drive that you can drive when you when you're 14 and make a you need to take an exam. But then, so yeah, maybe by the time you are 14, which is in in three years, we will have the version that you can drive already. Okay. Um. How many uh products have you sold so far? So. In general, we, I mean, we sell, uh, for the normal kick scooters, we sell a lot of uh, products for the non-electric ones. We sell more than 1.5 million um, kick scooters per year in, all, in 80 countries. But for the Microlino, it's, uh, of course, the, it, it's not such a high number. So um, for the Microlino, we, we, at the moment, we, we don't sell yet, so it's still uh, in development. We, we, we don't. Uh, we are not on the market yet, but um, we have about eighteen thousand reservations. Um, so that's uh, it's really a lot. And for the Macroletta, we have about uh, two thousand reservations. So there's really a big interest. But the way how it works is, people can make a reservation and they reserve a car, and then um, as soon as we start the production, they will have. The possibility to be one of the first to buy the car. So that's how it works, faster than everyone else. Okay. Uh, um, are you planning to release all of Microlino products all around the world? So maybe we need to differentiate between different uh, products. So the normal kick scooters and electric uh, kick scooters, there they we sell more or less all over the world. Um, in some countries, electric kick scooters are not legal, maybe, so there we don't sell them. But uh, most of the time, we sell them in, in everywhere. For the Macrolino, it's a little bit different. Um, there, at the moment, we focus on European market, so only on all the European countries. And uh, in a second step, we also want to go to other continents like Asia and uh, like uh, uh, America. Um, but it's a bit, let's say there, we don't know exactly when this will happen. The reason is 
you have in every part of the world, you have different constructed how fast they can go on. And that's why um, we are now uh, complying with all the European laws. But for example, in the USA, the laws are a little bit different. In Indonesia, the laws are a little bit different. In Australia, the laws are a little bit different. So we need to see in which kind of countries it makes sense uh, and it is possible to, to put it on the roads. But the long-term goal, yes, is to be everywhere in the world, of course. Okay, so this is the last question. Uh, I live in Indonesia and Australia. Have you sought any of them in any of those countries? So, it's quite funny. We have quite a lot of reservations from, from Indonesia and also from Australia. I mean, Indonesia is a very big country, and uh, Australia is, uh, you know, the people, people I think are starting to get quite open to electric mobility. So we have, uh, I think from Indonesia, we have about 500 reservations, and from Australia, we have about 650, like as, a, as an estimation. So we are, we are you know, it's, it's, it's quite good considering that, you know, we have never uh, had a car in real life in Indonesia or in Australia. So that's why, um, yeah, there are, there are people that are, that are interested there for sure. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Oliver, for having us. And uh, thanks a lot. That's Owen. it for today. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Owen. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Right. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> thanks. Thank okay, you. and Owen. Bye bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video about me online interviewing Oliver Albotter. Really hope you liked it. I'll be putting Oliver Albotter's Twitter account link in the description. So if you want to see it, check it out. It is filled with amazing Micro products. If you liked this video, please subscribe, leave a like, and comment on what you want to see next. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!